Hi YouTube, what is up? And next discussion we have today is will we all die by the age of 60 slash 70? So, um, in my point of view, I'm 17 years old and looking around this way, if you just sit down, maybe outside or maybe inside, just looking out your window, just look around. You see cars just like polluting, you see like um, people smoking and just killing themselves and it's just not good. You got Ebola spreading out to New York, what, like, what is this, like come on. So basically, uh, like I, w I want to drive, I want to be so I got my phone messaging. I want to be one to drive. I will never smoke. Never. I never have smoked. Never will. So I just think people that smoke, they say relieve stress. There's plenty of ways to relieve stress, and puffing on some cigarettes or whatever. Driving. It. It's a slow process, but after a while, because I've already seen a video of like floating motorbikes or hovering skateboards or whatever they're already bringing out electric hybrid cars and solar system cars and all that so that really ain't a problem so it will take a while for it, the technology to build up and you know get to that stage but at the moment it's not quite good um so dying by the age of 60 <coughs> Basically, what I've, what I see is, um, people are just, <laughs> they're not, you know, I don't know, I, I don't think I'll die at the age of 60, well, people are obese, but you find obese people everywhere, they have their reasons, they, you know, Oh, my mom died, and this is what, this is what, you know, gets, makes me feel good or whatever. But, that, obesity can, or cannot be a problem. Because you can lose the weight, you know, you can't get your, your lungs back unless you have like a transplant or whatever. But, who's really going to give you a transplant back after you've been smoking all your life and just, killing yourself who would do that because i want to do that i would i would sit there and watch you die because i know somebody not naming names that smokes all the time maybe like five cigarettes a day i don't know but i, t I tell them over and over again to stop smoking but it's what they want to do so you know i'm not i'm not gonna say you need to some stop smoking i'm gonna stop talking to you it takes a while for them to stop but that all ends up because that all happens because of the people that you're around and the people that influence you to start smoking. So here I perfected um somebody online. <laughs> I was quite shocked actually. But yes, so the people that you're around influence you to smoke, influence you to do bad things and whatnot. <clears throat> so I'm not judging anybody by what they do. It's just think about your past before you do something in the future and you make the same mistakes. For example, you bought a car and it was totally rubbish, kept on breaking down every week. You go back next year and buy the same car no you wouldn't you would go out research more about the other cars that are out there and you know try and find one that will suit you better than a car that will break down every week it's just a new move nobody will make that move so that's just my general overview on <coughs> what this what 
is bringing this world down pollution and all that greenhouse gases yeah that's causing a knock-on effect but that will all change in a couple years so people stressing about it and whatever bleh <coughs> not really affecting me so thank you guys for watching that's just my opinion on how if we our uh, age limit is reaching to 60 slash 70 and yeah that's how it goes goodbye everybody bye what?